All right. All right. Fucking back day. Day 99. That's a big one. Sick. Yeah, fuck yeah. That's a big number. God damn it. So. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit conflicted at the moment. I'm considering uh, whether or not I want to go to the Planet Fitness that's like... Whoa, what the f Oh, Jesus Christ. That dude's riding a one wheel, but it's got no light. I almost fucking hit him. Oh, fuck. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of conflicted. I think I want to go to the Planet Fitness that's kind of close to my gym. Because uh, I've, I've got a membership. Uh, and, like, it's whatever, you know. They got smooth cables, but they do have a back machine that I like. They do have this back machine that I like. Also, it's just kind of funny to go to Planet Fitness, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, uh, they're, they're literally right next to each other, so I've got a little bit of time to decide. But, either way, I'm going to start off with, you know, something moderately heavy. Maybe a row, perhaps a pull down, you know, something like that. Uh, and then I'll just do kind of a mix where I'll jump around between rowing movements and, you know, pulling movements, like pull downs. Because <coughs> you got to think, you know, your back, you know, everyone hears the sort of the bro science description of like rows builds uh, thickness and pull downs build width in your back. And I mean, there's some logic there, you know. Uh, if you do pull downs, obviously you're going to be working your lats primarily, and your lats are what's going to widen up your back, you know. And rows are going to, you know, employ some more traps and rhomboids and lower back. You'll also get some lat work in there too. But for the most part, I mean, back, I don't really do too, do too much complicated shit, you know. Like I'll do, like I said, just. I'll bounce around between rows and pull downs. The weight, I mean, I'll start off in the beginning with more heavy sets. And then as the workout progresses, you know, I already get a little bit pumped and fatigued. Then I'll lighten the weight a little and really try to focus on getting a good squeeze. Right? Because that burning sensation, you know, people say feel the burn. That's legit, you know. If you do a compound lift, like let's say you do bench 10 reps, and that's your max weight, you're about to fail the next one, you're tired right like you reach failure but that type of failure is different than reaching failure on like a pec deck you know where you're starting to fucking hurt so an even mix of those two kinds of sets in your workouts is going to be effective so uh, I gotta drink this pre decide what the fuck I want to do and I guess if you read the title you already fucking know but I'll find out in a few minutes god damn it Man, fuck. <laughs> there's, there's negative energy in here right now, if I'm being honest. But, uh, not gonna let that bother me. Still gonna get a frightening back pump. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, there's, there's something to be said about going to a gym that actually has fucking, uh, you know, what can, I, what can I even say, energy? Just like... You know, there's, there's certainly a real gym vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, the bar is just going to be higher at like a Metro Fitness or a World's Gym than it is at Planet Fitness, let's, let's be honest. But, do you need fucking to have a bunch of crazy lifters around you to have a good lift? That, that sounds like that's on you. So I'm going to keep fucking warming up a little bit and... I'll just start with pull downs, god damn it.
Oh, fuck. Let's move on. So three sets of pull downs done. You know, reasonably heavy. That's the whole stack. Uh, it says 260. I believe it. <coughs> so just gonna do some straight arm or straight bar barbell. What the fuck am I saying? Straight bar cable rows. Uh, I don't know. It's just a go-to for me. I prefer doing the straight bar with a wide grip rather than like the V bar. Because when you do that little close grip bar, I feel like you can only pull it so deep. Whereas when you got the wide grip straight bar, you can actually get a fucking decent contraction. And, uh, you know, then a decent pump as well. So, well, maybe two or three sets of this should feel pretty good. Okay, let's move on. So there's this fucking kind of like fancy looking specialty machine at this Planet Fitness. Uh, you know the back machines? You know, you lock in whatever, it's two arms. Maybe you pull it out like that. But it just felt like shit, I don't know why. So instead of doing that, I'll just do some single arm cable pull downs. All right. Instead of all the fucking engineering that went into that fucking complicated ass machine, this cable is gonna do me three times as much good. So, no need to overcomplicate this shit. So this is the Rome machine I said I liked. It's just interesting. You know, it's whatever. It's different than the hammer strength plate loaded one. Uh, <coughs> you know, a lot of this stuff, if you have a basic understanding of how your fucking muscles work, right? You know that if you want to work your mid back or whatever in a rowing movement, all you're doing is, you know, obviously with moving a load going from here to here, right? So different machines might hit it a little differently but you know just do whatever feels best for you right if you've been watching this for a while you've you've seen i'll do a straight up bicep workout that's basically you know 90 percent standing dumbbell curls right because that's gonna work the fucking bicep and it feels good so you know don't just copy shit that you see other people doing you know maybe if you're a beginner that's a fine method but as you progress you know it's gonna do you way better to just do what you like as long as it you know, fits your immediate goal. Like heading back, obviously I'm gonna do, you know, rows. <laughs> So, I mean, speaking of fucking doing what feels good for you, uh, that machine kind of felt like shit. I think I remembered it differently or something. So instead, I'll just finish off with two sets of uh, single arm cable rows with like the cable stack. <coughs> uh, I, don't know. I, I, I like doing this more than the dumbbell row. The weight just feels different since you got the whole pulley system going. 
So two of these and then done. Let's check the pump. So, I'm not necessarily educated on the greatest lighting of this particular Planet Fitness establishment. So, this seems good enough right here on the fucking floor. God damn it, come on. All right. So, not necessarily my craziest back day in terms of, you know, sheer amount of weight lifted. But, still, certainly pumped. Let's make sure I'm in frame here. Holy fuck. Oh yeah. That is a good ass fucking pump for me. Let's check it out from the back. <sighs> Not so much variety <laughs> in the poses you can do when you got a back pump. I mean, you got lat spread and you got the fucking double by. Then of course, you can do it backwards as well. But, I mean, I've, I've lifted at Planet Fitness uh, exclusively for months at a time, you know. Uh, my last summer job, which I'm gonna do again this summer with my little brother. That's fucking sick. But uh, I work, work ended, and I pack my fucking gym bag, pre-workout everything, and just go straight to the Planet Fitness in my fucking neon high vis shirts and boots. Obviously, I would change, but at the end of the day, it's a building the likes of which you can pay to enter, typically on a monthly basis, and it'll give you access to workout equipment. You know, how you use that equipment and how effective it's uh, gonna relate to your training goals. It's up to you, you know. Some gyms are better than others, won't lie to you. But, you know, if you're a, a determined lifter, you can build a badass physique with dumbbells and a rack, and that's it, you know. Fucking, again, like I say, fucking every lift, it's all about your own intensity that you bring, you know. If you bring a schmuck, with a bad attitude and no real goals to like oxygen gym or gold's gym. Guess what? He's gonna fucking stay small forever, right? But if you got a baller, bodybuilding muscle growth mindset, you throw him into a high school weight room with just dumbbells and racks and he's gonna turn into a beast in no time. So I'm gonna finish calves like usual and then we can get in the car and slam the fucking dextro shake. You know, I tell you what, something felt off about that lift. Uh, I think maybe it was because I didn't start off with something like insanely heavy, like I usually do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Because all the sets were hard, like I still, like I'm pretty convinced I know how to push myself, you know, to a intensity of a set where, you know, it's going to be beneficial for me. But I think the lack of that heavy compound lift in the beginning, yeah, that's probably what made it feel a little off. 
But either way, you saw the pump. So fucking good pump, good squeeze, getting a good burning sensation. I'm sure I'm going to feel my back tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, sh shit. Sometimes it's just not going to feel the same, you know? Don't be a, don't be a chump about it. So let's just slam the dextro shake and uh, let's discuss something of interest to me. Okay. Oh, so, like I was about to mention, um, well, I guess you, you don't know what I'm about to mention. But what I was about to get into is what you should do as a beginner lifter. What is your first move? Yeah, let's say right now you're just a layman normal looking whatever you played sports perhaps but you just look like a normal dude out in the world uh should you bulk should you cut should you do a main gain whatever what is your first move as a beginner now it's definitely not gonna be to cut I can tell you that for sure. You do not want to just fucking jump into a crazy cut unless you're legitimately overweight. Like if you are straight up, uh, uh, let's just be real. If you're fucking overweight, then you kind of have to start off with the fat loss journey. Not necessarily the, uh, well, yeah, it's, you're still gonna start lifting. But that, that initial fat loss, if you've legit got some some blubber on you, you're going to want to deal with that. It's not going to help you to carry that around for sure. But let's, let's skip over that normal looking dude. Uh, and by normal, I just mean like maybe 20% body fat, uh, sub, and maybe 180 pounds, whatever. Doesn't matter. But you know what I'm saying. You're not going to want to start off with a crazy diet to try to shred down and just show off like the half and half that you have in your undeveloped physique, right? Not good. What you should start off with, you know, what you should immediately prioritize is just the gym in general. Just like the beginner, make it a routine, you know, find like two hour, you got a, probably a two hour window in your day where you just go to the gym, right? And if you can do that consistently at like five days a week for like a month straight, you're a baller, right? Now, of course, what are you going to do when you go to the gym? Right? Maybe look up some, you know, Jeff Nippard beginner lifter info. Uh, if I, when anyone's a beginner and they're asking for info, I love Jeff Nippard. I was watching him when I was starting. It's fucking smart, posts some really uh, simple shit, makes it very easy to digest. I'll teach you about working sets and volume per week and frequency, uh, which I agree with a lot of his shit. You know, it's, he's getting into you know the more study-based science realm, but it's it's just legit, you know. So you, know, you look up some YouTube videos. You know, maybe you watch uh, some kind of fitness influencer and you copy their chest day or their leg day or whatever. You know, so just the beginner should be able to go to the gym. And just get some weightlifting experience, right? That's going to be most important in the beginning, because let's say you go into the gym once, right? As a beginner, the next time you go to the gym, you've literally doubled your weightlifting experience. You get what I'm saying? So, the more you can just get used to moving weight around, dealing with like the, the discomfort of it, the better, right? Now, after you know you become a steady gym goer, people are starting to recognize you. Maybe they, uh, maybe you wave to your friends there when you see them. Then maybe you should look into diet. You know, most important thing first, 
protein. I can guarantee that nobody who just, you know, eats food like a normal person and they don't really think about it, they are not eating enough protein at all. Not even close, right? So what do you do? I can maybe tell your mom to buy some more uh, deli meat, turkey. Maybe, uh, you know, cook up some beef if you feel like a baller. Or get some protein powder. I love protein powder. And just hit about a gram and a half of protein per pound of body weight. That is going to be at least enough, right? So if you're 100 pounds, if you're 150, if you're 150 pounds, then you know, 200 grams of protein per day, that's going to be good for you. It's, well, you can even do a gram per pound. I just, you know, I'd rather do more than less. So you've been lifting consistently. You're learning new tricks. You're starting to feel mind-muscle connection. You're drinking your protein shakes. <clears throat> now you should maybe look into uh, some pre-workout, perhaps. Uh, I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't do pre-workout for years. Uh, like the first two years, I didn't touch any pre-workout. Would I be bigger if I had? Maybe. At the very least, you should do a stimulant-free pre-workout, right? Where, I mean, that shit's just going to give you a better pump in the gym. You know, everybody's heard the you know, improved blood flow, nitrous oxide type deal. That's going to help you out. Creatine, that's going to fucking help you out. Uh, you know, and then once you kind of become a little bit of a fledged lifter, then maybe you can think about bulking or cutting. So... After you do all those things as a beginner, like I just referenced, you know, consistent gym, creatine for sure, eat enough protein, maybe you fucking uh, even take your multivitamin like you definitely should be taking, and do your pre-workout, if I didn't already say that. Then, decide whether you need to bulk or if you need to cut. Now, if you're like significantly soft, you wanna like shred down, then if you do all those things I just referenced, and you watch your calories, right? You try to eat at a maintenance, no, no, at a calorie deficit, where you, know, you plug in your weight, your height, your body fat percentage, your activity level, into, look it up online, online macro uh, calculator, or maintenance calorie calculator. Plug all that info in, and it's gonna tell you how much food you need to eat to lose maybe a pound a week, or two pounds a week. So do all that shit I just said about lifting, and then count your calories and make sure you don't eat over that number that you find online. You do that for a few months, and if you don't fucking have a ton of cheat days, shit, man, you're gonna start slimming down. And in reverse, if you're the uh, if you're maybe a little bit more trim and you want to bulk up, then you should look up the same website, maintenance calorie calculator, and then plug in how much or find out how much food you need to eat to gain weight. Right, and then you know, make sure you eat accordingly. So for the layman, I mean, that might be maybe 2,000 calories to diet, and maybe 3,000 to bulk. You'll have to see it on the website. Uh, and I mean, that's going to be a pretty solid start. You know, obviously you should watch a bunch of videos and shit of other like beginner lifter tutorials and stuff, and get a lot of try to get some more knowledge. Talk to your lifter buddies, have them sort of guide you. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, just going to the gym on a consistent basis can totally change the way a person looks. Even if they don't mess with all the other diet and pre-workout and creatine and vitamins, even if they, if they don't do any of that, just lifting on like a merely daily basis can fucking change the way you look after you know, a period of time, probably a couple of months. Now, what you definitely don't want to do is just jump straight to a fucking starvation diet and try to shred down to get lean like a lot of uh, lifters you see on social media, right? The fucking last thing that you want to do as a beginner is look at, uh, you know, some, I don't, I don't really know any kind of low-level guys like that, at least in terms of their actual physique that are just really like kind of thin, but they're lean. You know, when you're lean, you look good on camera. It's cool, you can see some abs and stuff. But 
A lot of them, at least they did a little bit of a bulk before they tried to shred down. If you just are trying to copy that look and you don't realize that you have to build your physique up first before shredding down to reveal what you what you gained, then you're almost going backwards in terms of your physical development. You know, long term long term viewers, they've already heard me kind of go on this rant, but I think it's worth referencing again. Uh, I'm pretty convinced. Well, not even convinced. I, I'm just seeing it unfold before me that there is a perversion of leanness going around in our in the youthful lifters today, right? Where they're not they're not interested in bulking up. Oh, I don't want to lose my abs. You know, they just want to be fucking shredded, shredded, shredded. But I mean, oh, not cool, man. We should be more hyped up for you know gaining five pounds than you know, revealing your few abs and 14 inch arms you know it's just I, I don't get it if you're building the classic car in your garage you don't start with the paint job you don't fucking start with the paint job man that's the finishing touches right you gotta put some serious muscle in there first I'm not really a car guy but I'm sure you understand the analogy it's, but as of late, it almost looks like it's kind of flipping around. <coughs> like, I've been seeing a couple of, uh, like, big dudes posting shit where they're talking about exactly what I just said, where you need to, like, focus on bulking up first rather than just trying to be lean and shredded. So maybe there's some fucking light at the end of the tunnel for the young and impressionable. Maybe we can get back to uh, having respect for real muscle, goddammit. So, that, that fucking does it for me, man. I, I gotta eat some food. I gotta go to class tomorrow. I gotta take my vitamins. I, uh, when you guys say, when you guys ask for a day in the life, like when there's comments of a day in the life, uh, uh I don't know what you guys expect me to show you, <laughs> but so I'm at home. Uh, I just had my third meal of the day. I'm going to sit on my phone and scroll TikToks for a few hours. Oh, I took a nap. All right, let's go hit the gym. Like, <laughs> you may be underestimating my, uh, the simplicity of my routine, you know, I end up doing more shit like extracurricular activity style when I'm dieting, you know, because when I'm trying to lose weight, uh, the training and like, for one thing, just not having to eat so much food all the time, it's a lot easier, you know. I've said this before, I don't know if it's perfect to say it, but maintaining muscle is far easier than building it, right? Like, if I wanted to just maintain my physique, uh, well, it, it depends on the state, but let's say I, I died it down a bit and I just wanted to maintain how I looked. I wouldn't have to eat so much fucking food and honestly, the training wouldn't have to be so hard either, right? Because the amount of like workload you need to do for muscle once you've built it just to maintain it is not so much as you need to build, uh, get a little repetitive there. But whatever, I'll get into more of that when I'm dieting. But, you know, later on in the summertime, I'm sure there will be you know, a little bit more variety to the videos. Like maybe instead of the uh, the car talk at the end, it'll be me like I don't know, fucking around doing something. Something like a like vlog style. But until then, I mean, get used to this format. You got it for at least a month, at least a month longer. So. All right, that's it. I'll see you next time.